So in this video, I'd like to show you how the stack fuel gauge works and how to set it up. I was so impressed with it, I thought I needed to make a video. Well, why do I have the stack fuel gauge? Well, originally I wanted to run the standard fuel gauge in my classic mini, but I'd fitted an aluminium fuel cell in the boot and that meant that the old standard fuel sender obviously doesn't work. I bought a sender that fits into the fuel tank but only then did I realise that it's a little bit more complicated than I originally thought. Now a standard mini fuel gauge runs from 240 ohms at empty to 20 ohms when full. Now this fuel sender that I have is zero to 190 ohms, which basically means that even when the tank is full, the standard mini fuel gauge is only re uh, registering half full. So I purchased the stack programmable fuel gauge. Let me show you how it works. Well, it comes with some very comprehensive instructions, but me being me, I've laminated them so I don't destroy them. So step one is to make sure that the fuel level sensor is connected to the gauge and that the fuel tank is empty. Well, in this case, it's not really an issue. Uh, please excuse the crudity of my uh, demonstration here, but it helps me. I think it's much better to see it like this than in the car. Now the fuel gauge comes with a momentary switch. No, it doesn't. Now the fuel gauge comes with two wires that you can either just touch together to program the gauge or fit a button. Now I can see that if you're gonna fit it to your car and never have to adjust it again, there's actually no need to have a button. But again, for this purpose, I fitted a, a nice little button there. Thank you. 